Things are not looking good in Cleveland. Multiple reports over the last few weeks have indicated that Donovan Mitchell is frustrated with his teammates and their attitudes. We're going to break down these latest reports and what it can mean for Donovan Mitchell and his future with the Cavs. All of this and so much more today. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. And make sure you have notifications turned on so you don't miss a second of the new content. And now, let's get started. Donovan Mitchell is apparently frustrated with his teammates and their attitudes. Donovan Mitchell is going to be the talk of the offseason. His name is going to come up in so many different trades because at this point in time, it's assumed he's likely not going to sign an extension with the Cavaliers. If he does not sign that extension, Cleveland is definitely going to move him. Now, maybe they want to move him for more than one reason. Could it be his contract? Could it be the fit with this current Cavs team? Or could it be as NBA insider Chris Fedor put it, Donovan Mitchell growing frustrated with his teammates and their attitude? Let's break down these latest reports about Donovan Mitchell and how he was feeling about the Cleveland Cavaliers team. According to Fedor, he stated, Spider grew frustrated with some teammates, lack of maturity, focus, playoff readiness, and a willingness to listen. But I do want to mention that in that article, Fedor did note that Mitchell has repeatedly mentioned how happy he is in Cleveland and how much he likes this situation. But if he's not open to signing an extension, it's possible the Cavs could trade him this coming offseason. Now, even before I could respond to this, Donovan Mitchell himself responded to it. Look at what he said to the following report. This was Donovan Mitchell on the app X after he saw that Bleacher Report article by Chris Fedor stating he was frustrated with his teammates. He stated the following. Yeah, I cap. I'm sick of y'all sometimes. So Donovan Mitchell is basically saying it's not true. It's all cap. That's not how he feels. He is not frustrated with his teammates. And you hear that. But then after that report comes out, you see the following reports. And then it makes you question things again. According to Shams of The Athletic, multiple teams are monitoring the potential availability of Darius Garland. Garland's representation feels he hasn't been utilized enough since Donovan Mitchell's arrival. If Mitchell stays with the Cavaliers, Garland might request a trade. Some of you might be thinking, well, that's not too bad. But then there's this report. Brian Windhorst confirmed that Clutch Sports will indeed meet with the Cavaliers this offseason to facilitate Darius Garland being traded if Donovan Mitchell decides to stay. The Mitchell-Garland backcourt is on their way to being split up. Is it fit? Is it the attitudes? Is it a combination of things? I really don't know. But Darius Garland clearly doesn't feel like he's being utilized with Donovan Mitchell on the team. And if Donovan Mitchell stays, he is going to be traded. He's going to go. Clutch has already agreed to it. It's been confirmed by Brian Windhorse. At this point in time, it is clear. Cleveland is going to go through major changes this offseason. They are not going to look the same when they start the season next year. I don't know what type of roster they're going to have, how many picks they're going to have, what they're going to get, anything like that. But it's clear there are a lot of issues they have to work out. And not just with Darius Garland. There are other reports about Jared Allen as well, too. Bleacher Report helped to provide the following. Shout out to Shams of The Athletic for giving us this information. Cavs frustrated by Jared Allen. There was confusion over Jared Allen's refusal to have an injection and play through rib injury. Even before it was reported, I remember hearing about the Jared Allen stories and a lot of people not liking the fact that even though he might have been able to play, if he could either go through the pain or take an injection shot, which, by the way, a lot of players do not like to get. So I can't fault Allen for that. However, he didn't do any of those things. And because of that, He's getting a lot of criticism from a lot of NBA players, a lot of NBA fans, but especially a lot of NBA insiders within Cleveland. It looks like Jared Allen and his time with Cleveland is over. He's probably going to be traded as well. Is it going to be a package deal with him, Darius Garland, and some other type of player so that way they can go out and get somebody that fits better with Donovan Mitchell? Or will Donovan Mitchell be the player that leaves and Darius Garland and Jared Allen stay and they try to figure out what they have with those players? 
It's going to be very interesting to see what the Cavaliers do, but significant change is coming. And not only with the players, with the head coach as well, too. According to Shams of The Athletic, he states that the Cavs head coach, J.B. Bickerstaff, his tenure in Cleveland may end after his playoff exit. Quote, unquote, his job is in jeopardy. So you're losing your all-star backcourt mate, you're losing your all-star center, and you're losing your coach. Again, I'm not saying Donovan Mitchell is lying when he's saying it's all cap and he wasn't frustrated with the Cavaliers. However, if you're looking at the Cavs and what they're doing, they're responding to something, whether it's Donovan Mitchell, somebody else's complaints, or something. It's clear. Somebody within that Cleveland organization is frustrated with a lot of the players there, and he wants to see change. Now, in my opinion, I think the truth is somewhere in the middle. I think Donovan Mitchell is frustrated to some degree, but not to the degree that was reported by Chris Fedor. But I'm not naive enough to believe that there are no problems or no issues occurring in Cleveland. Like I said, the truth is likely somewhere in the middle. I believe Donovan Mitchell has issues. I believe the Cavs have issues. And I think, in my personal opinion, the best way to alleviate those issues is to trade Donovan Mitchell. Now, if I'm the Knicks and I hear that Donovan Mitchell is available, I'm definitely going to pick up the phone, call the Cavs, and see what his value is, what it would take to facilitate a trade. Because that's Donovan Mitchell. And you have to make that call if you're the Knicks, especially with the assets that you have. However, in my opinion right now, after everything that I've seen over the course of this season, I can truly say the Knicks need a star, but not a score-only guard. They need a star that fits with this roster, fits what we're building, and fits Tom Thibodeau as well. And I think if you're looking at the players that could potentially be available, potentially could become disgruntled, my list now goes like this. Mikel Bridges, Devin Booker, and Donovan Mitchell. I would rather them go after Mikel because I believe he's the perfect fit. If you can't get him, go after Booker because I think he's the second best fit. And then if you can't get him, you go after Donovan Mitchell because I don't care what you want to say about Donovan. He had an all-star superstar type of year, even though he dealt with injuries. He was the main reason the Cavs were even in the playoffs because without him, I think the Cavs are a play-in team. That was his impact. He was putting up career numbers. I couldn't believe the numbers he was putting up, not only during the regular season, but also during the postseason, especially during that Orlando series where I thought he came in clutch game after game after game. Cleveland better thank Donovan for giving all he could to help them win that series and go on to the second round further than they were last year, you know, after the Knicks bounced them out. We all remember how that went. Anyways, going back to Donovan Mitchell, the Cavaliers are likely going to trade him this offseason, especially if he doesn't sign that extension, because they do not want to run the risk of him playing out the season and then leaving in free agency and the Cavs get nothing back. Because remember, the Cavs gave up a haul in order to get him from Utah. If he leaves in free agency for nothing and let's say goes to the Knicks, the Cavs would look so bad for that move. So before that happens, I believe that Dan Gilbert is going to say, if you don't sign this extension, Donovan, we're going to have to trade you. And Donovan's probably going to say, you do what you have to do. We already have reports about Mikel Bridges potentially being traded by the Brooklyn Nets to the Knicks this summer. And now we have reports about Donovan Mitchell, who potentially is frustrated. Maybe some of it is true. Maybe some of it is not. But either way, it's looking like if he doesn't sign his extension, he's likely going to be traded. If that happens, what are the Knicks going to do? What target are they going to go after? Mikel, Donovan Mitchell, potentially Devin Booker. There are so many potential names available, and we're not even finished with the season yet. Once we hit the offseason, that list of disgruntled stars, it's going to grow. It's going to become official, and then the Knicks are going to be able to choose which star they want, which star they want to avoid, and who they think can best fit this team with Tom Thibodeau as the head coach. And that's something we have to think about. The Knicks are in prime position, thanks to Leon Rose in this front office. We have the players, we have the picks, we have the contracts, we have everything necessary to facilitate any superstar trade to this team. All we need to wait for is that star that we covet. Whoever that star player is, once we hear he's available, Leon Rose in this front office, they're going to go to work and they're going to make magic happen. They already did with OG Ananobi coming to this team, giving us the wing that we always needed. I have faith that Leon Rose is going to complete the job 
get us another key player on this team and make sure we are competitive for many, many years, a contender for many, many years. And who knows if he makes the right additions and the right moves, we could be set up for the NBA finals each and every year. And if you're booked the ticket to that dance, think about how respected the Knicks are going to be. Think how the Knicks are going to be looked at. Think about how the Knicks are going to be seen around the entire league. That's what we're talking about. Creating that type of history, that type of atmosphere. Leon Rose has the ability at his fingertips. Once the offseason starts, we're going to get started and we're definitely going to make some moves. Donovan Mitchell might be one of those moves, but it depends on cost. And it also depends on what other players are available and their fit with Tom Thibodeau and this current Knicks roster. One thing's for certain, it's going to be a crazy offseason, and I can't wait to watch and see what happens. But what about you guys? What do you think about these latest reports indicating that Donovan Mitchell is frustrated? But even though Donovan Mitchell pushed back against those reports, do you still believe there are some issues lingering, and it could likely mean that Donovan Mitchell will be traded this offseason? Let me know in the comments below, guys, because honestly, I would love to hear from you. But that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and smash that like button. Leave a comment below. And of course, guys, please subscribe to the channel. Until next time, Nick fans. Peace.